Today we have brought you updates regarding Gigafactory Texas and Gigafactory Berlin. Both the factories are going good and is expected to get fully ready by the end of this year. Recent footages and photos have arrived from both the facilities, hinting the start of pre-production of Tesla's new Model Y. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla Model Y pre-production seems slated to start at Gigafactory Texas as predicted. Last week, an insider shared that Tesla aims to start test Model Y production in early August. The company's plan seems to be moving on schedule. Recent pictures by drone operator Joe Tegmeyer reveal just how prepared Gigafactory Texas is for Model Y test production. The machines seem calibrated to test Model Y assembly. Model Y pre-production will help train Giga Texas employees for full-scale production. At the beginning of August, Tegtmeyer talked with a Giga Texas insider, who suggested that street-legal Model Y production could start in about two months. Provided that the insider is correct and barring any unforeseen obstacles, Tesla's Giga Texas Model Y assembly line could be operational by the end of Q3 or the beginning of Q4. This aligns with Elon Musk's timeframe for Model Y production at Giga Texas. So it's really great work by the Giga Texas team, and then also great work in Berlin Brandenburg with the team there. So we expect to be producing the sort of new design of the Model Y in both factories in limited production, later this year Elon Musk said at the last earnings call. Giga Texas does seem to be operating within Tesla's timetable, and the same could be said about Giga Berlin. Tesla Model Y bodies were spotted at Giga Berlin over the weekend, hinting at the beginning of pre-production operations at the plant. Tesla Giga Berlin drone operator, GF4 Tesla, spotted nine Model Y bodies at the plant's site. He also spotted two unopened boxes that might have contained more Tesla Model Y bodies. According to the Tesla enthusiast and others observing Giga Berlin, the Model Y bodies will help calibrate the machines in the factory for pre-production, as Giga Texas. About a day after the Model Y bodies were spotted, they disappeared from sight. Presumably, they were brought into the building for pre-production operations. This should allow Tesla to test the assembly line and paint shop in Giga Berlin's Phase 1 facility. The Model Y bodies hint that Giga Berlin is not too far behind Gigafactory Texas, which plans to start Model Y pre-production tests this month. Giga Berlin seems to have installed most of the machines necessary for test production. The next step would be calibrating the machines and training the employees who will closely work on the local Model Y production line. Giga Berlin's main stopgap seems to be its final permit, which has not been approved by Brandenburg's state office for the environment yet. However, Tesla remains hopeful that Model Y production in Giga Berlin can still start by year end. At the last Tesla earnings call, Elon Musk teased that the Model Ys in Giga Berlin and Giga Texas would be slightly different from the cars made at the Fremont factory. Tesla aims to produce Model Ys, featuring its structural battery pack with 4680 cells and a front body cast at the new Gigafactories. Originally, Giga Berlin was supposed to start Model Y production in July, just in time to kick off local Q3 deliveries. Tesla still moved forward with Model Y deliveries this quarter, despite delays in Giga Berlin's operations. Recently, news broke that some Tesla Model Y crossovers have already arrived in Europe. Giga Berlin and Gigafactory Texas are essential to making Tesla's goal for the Model Y come true. During this year's first quarter earnings call, Elon Musk projected that the Tesla Model Y could become the world's best-selling car by either 2022 or 2023. In the past, Elon Musk also predicted that the Model Y would outsell the Model S, 3, and X combined. As a crossover, the Model Y has a lot of potential in the United States alone. According to Statista, the crossover passenger vehicle accounted for 45.9% of automobile sales in June 2021, compared to 39.5% in June 2020. 
Crossover sales were followed by pickup truck sales, which accounted for 17.6%. The large gap between crossover sales and other vehicle categories reveals the potential for Model Y sales in the United States. So, it's very clear that the Model Y is in great demand in the United States, and it's also growing in other countries too. To handle such huge demand, Tesla will be relying a lot on Giga Texas and Giga Berlin. So, with the ongoing progress on both the site, it looks like Tesla would soon be able to produce its new Model Ys. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.